What is going on, Adventure Nation? I want to do a quick video because we've had millions of people reaching out to us. Millions. Thousands? Even Hun thousands? Hundreds? Okay, <laughs> oh 27 people reached out to us. Oh, you mean to, your mom. Yeah. <laughs> to ask us uh, how we were doing in the hurricane in Florida. And obviously, we have left Florida. Uh, the last uh, video, we're a little bit of a hint. I would say it's not obviously because I don't yeah. know where we are, but... We are currently just outside of New Orleans and we are on the road. We missed that hurricane by just a couple of days. We really dodged yeah. a bullet there. We have friends in Florida that uh, not so much. They friends in Cape Coral and things like that. Everybody's safe. So uh, that's good news. But uh, we had the RV out of Arcadia and we were on the road when all this happened. With that being said, we have a couple of more small videos coming out of Orlando, and then after that, we'll be on the road again. And I'm not gonna make any promises on when we're getting videos out. I have no idea what I'm gonna be doing as far as regular videos and stuff. So that's all we can tell you about that, but we are gonna have some stuff from the road, so I can tell you that. And uh, we'll just you know check in as we go. I'm just so excited about our next adventure, and I think we will say more as we go. Yeah. It's like, but... I'm excited. We're going to go back to some old uh, TME style, some two laning and things like that, some boondocking. So should be good. Mm -hmm. Ready to hit the road? Yes. All right, let's do it. Okay, let recap. Paul has quit working for Disney World. They've moved out of the apartment and back into Freya. They missed Hurricane Ian by a couple of days. I think we're all caught up. Please continue. <laughs> What is going on, Adventure Nation? I'm excited about tonight. This is something that I don't even know if I did it when I was a kid. I have never done it. Yeah, but uh, we are here at Fort Wilderness, so let's get this show on the road. All right, we're coming over to Fort Wilderness. We're parked out in the front parking lot, and we're gonna take a bus in, and we're going to hoop de doo review tonight. This is a show that had been canceled for quite a long time during the pandemic, I think almost two years, and it mm -hmm. just came back up a few months ago. Lori's been working hard, just checking <laughs> reservations all the time, trying to get us in, and finally got us in, what, a month ago is as when you booked I it. So I, I was like, I just snatched it. I didn't ask questions. I didn't ask Paul if he wanted to go. I'm like, I know it's hard to get in, so we're going to get in. Yeah. Oh, that's welcome. So we are going to, uh, we're at the front of Fort Wilderness and you have to take a bus to the back of Fort Wilderness. Hoop de doo review is in, what, three hours? So what we're gonna do is the logical thing and we're gonna take a bus to Fort Wild or to Wilderness Lodge, then we'll take a boat over to Magic Kingdom and then we'll take the boat back here to Fort Wilderness to where Hoop de doo review is. Makes total sense. Just doing a little bit <laughs> of sightseeing before the show. Absolutely, now we're gonna check out the horses. So here at Fort Wilderness, they have the Tri-Circle D Ranch. Obviously, the three circles is the whole, you know, the Mickey Mouse thing. This here is where they load up trail rides, so you don't have to climb up on the horse. You just literally walk up the stairs and then swing your leg over the horse and off you go. The trail rides here are pretty cool, and I'm not sure the price of that, but uh, you can do that here. And in the back is where they have another stable uh, back by the settlement. and. We were gonna check that out, but I think that barn closes at 5 p.m., so we won't be able to check that out today, but very, very cool facilities here for the horse. This is the music I have to listen to whenever I'm doing Fort Wilderness. Hours and this hours is, and hours like of banjos. Yeah, I sit around the house listening to banjos all the time. So it's no different. No. So at Fort Wilderness, there is the front section, which is called the outpost. That's the check-in area, and then there's the settlement, which is down where the hoop de doo review is, the trails end restaurant, and stuff like that. And you have to take a bus in between those. The yellow route that we're on also takes us over to Wilderness Lodge. So we're gonna go from the outpost to the settlement and then over to Wilderness Lodge on the bus where we'll catch the boat to do the rest of our insane trip After on the way to walk around a Trails End. Yes, yes. You're we'll, making it yes. seem like we're just like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not gonna, <laughs> we're, we're gonna 
leisurely take our time since we have three hours literally to go the mile from the front to the back of Fort Wilderness. All right, we just took the beautiful drive through the back road between the Fort Wilderness Settlement and Wilderness. Lori had never been on that road before, so that was kind of cool. Very beautiful path and road and places that you always see a lot of wildlife around. It was very marshy. I yeah, think. at night you see a lot of deer back there and armadillo and possum and all, all kinds of cool stuff back there. And then, of course, at 2 and 3 a.m. you start to, you know, your mind waters. And I think one of these days I'll see Bigfoot, but I, I don't know. Maybe. <laughs> I doubt it. It's Sasquatch here, isn't it? I don't know. No, it would be Florida Swamp oh, Ape. Florida Swamp Ape. Yeah, yeah. Maybe I'll see the Swamp Ape back there. <laughs> Wilderness Lodge is spectacular. It is a phenomenal hotel. It's fashioned after the, I believe, the old Yellowstone Lodges. And it is super, super cool. I love this place. It's very grand. I don't think that picture or video really makes yeah. it justice. It's grand. Yeah, pictures do not do it justice at all. Look at this fireplace. Are we going to beat the rain to the boat, Lori? Are you kidding? No. <laughs> it's just starting to come down. This was a bad option. No, it's not a bad option. Now, back in the day, and I don't know when they stopped this, but you used to be able to take a boat between Fort Wilderness, Wilderness Lodge, Wilderness Lodge, Contemporary, and back and forth in one way, shape, or form. They don't do that anymore. So we are going to take the boat here from Wilderness Lodge over to the Magic Kingdom, where we're gonna transfer onto another boat and then head over to Full Wilderness. Makes total sense. Is my little escapade gonna make us late? No. Oh, you got time? Well, here's the thing, we wanted to make another stop before going back, but yeah, I that think can't that's happen. not gonna no, happen. That can't if happen. we want to be on time, and we want to be on time. Okay, so <laughs> transfer boat, onto another boat, Fort Wilderness, hoop de doo review. Officially on the boat back to Fort Wilderness now. Boat number two. We are arrived at Fort Wilderness with plenty of time. We actually are an hour early, so it's going to be a little bit before we can check in yet. <laughs> so we're going to head over here to the settlement trading post and just wander around and enjoy the day. It's actually really nice now that it rained a little bit. It's uh, actually probably a little chilly a for little you. A little chilly for me, yeah. Yeah, so it's very, very nice out right now. I, I'm assuming you didn't expect chilly in Florida in the summer, but once in a while it gets a little bit chilly. You're gonna love this one. I wanna say you're gonna like this one, you will love it. I kind of knew it was going to be dangerous walking around with Lori in these shops. Today was the last day that cast members get 50% off of merchandise, so. I don't think you're allowed to disclose that. What? Yeah, today was 50% off. Like what? Once in a while. Yeah, once in a while we get discounts. Year, they get good discounts. I'm assuming that people know that 
employees get discounts. Employees oh, yeah, get discounts right. at every place on the planet. Right. It's costing me money. No, we're saving money. Oh, we're saving money. We're yeah, saving that's right. Money. That's right. I forgot. I forgot. We're saving money. That's what I keep telling myself. All right, we are all checked in for Hoopty Doo review. Now we're just kind of hanging out and waiting for them to open the doors. And just like a quick thing, we're vegetarian, so the chef is actually outside, and you go and talk to him, and he just accommodates you. Yeah. So he if you have any sense. any food allergies at all, you just once you've checked in, they send you to talk to the chef personally, and then uh, he fixes everything for you. Yeah. So pretty cool. Allergies? Well, it's not allergies. Well, we we're not an but allergy, if but you have an allergy too. we're just a pain in the ass. <laughs> but if you have allergies, actual allergies, they can accommodate. All right, Lori, what do you think so far? First of all, it looks pretty, and I'm glad I have a sweater. That's a <laughs> But look, cornbread, salad, all small. I think that's apple sauce. Or, bar or barbecue sauce, who knows? Very cool. It looks good. Thank you, baby. Hopefully you're hungry. <laughs> <laughs> That's a lot of food, Laurie.
Obviously, we are done with hoop de doo We took the boat from Fort Wilderness back over to Magic Kingdom. We're parked at Fort Wilderness, but there's a method to our madness, of course. We're heading over to the Polynesian. We're gonna see if Trader Sam's is open and try and grab a drink or a t-shirt from Trader we Sam's. We haven't said our final thoughts about the hoop de doo Yeah, we have not. We will talk but about hoop de doo shortly. You may have noticed a pumpkin there in that last shot. Disney starts <laughs> celebrating Halloween in August. That's since two weeks ago. Yeah, two weeks yeah. ago they start celebrating, Started. doing the Disney's not so scary Halloween parties uh, three nights a week. So Pretty you, crazy. It feels like fall. It feels like Halloween already. Yeah, when you're in the park and see all the Halloween decorations, it's very strange. In the middle of August. Very, very strange. Oh, it looks like it got busier here at the monorail. Once the maintenance check is complete on Monorail Mine, we will have you on your way. Alright, we're going to jump on the monorail and we're heading from Magic over to Polynesian on the monorail. To our new passengers, we welcome you aboard our flightway in the sky and hope you've enjoyed the Magic Kingdom. We are traveling to Disney's Contemporary Resort. During our travels, please hold on to the handrail and stay clear of the doors. For the comfort of others, no smoking, please. Thank you. Believe it or not, we're back at Magic Kingdom because we took the monorail from the Polynesian back to the Magic Kingdom so that we can take a bus over to Fort Wilderness where our car is parked. I guess we yeah, could take a boat back over there, but we're just going to take a bus to do something different. Our trip to the Poly was a bus. Oh, yeah couldn't do anything there, everything was closed, so yep. now we're working our way back to the car. We're working our way back. Okay, Lori, in this video we promised that we would finish up on the hoop de doo review in a little bit, and then we didn't a little bit. So now's <laughs> a lot bit, so now we have to finish up with hoop de doo review. Well, it's good because I feel like we also digest it better. Now afterwards. Now we've taken it all, all in. in. All right. And think back. All right. Yeah. Think back. Okay. So obviously we're far from hoop de doo review. You can see the Gulf of Mexico behind us, but uh, we oh, will. They didn't know that's a Gulf. Well, they do now. <laughs> they do. So the hoop de doo review is a entertainment slash dinner show at the Pioneer Hall in Fort Wilderness, and we might be sucking in bugs every now and then. I just think I swallowed a fly. <laughs> so it is an entertainment and uh, supper supper dinner show. It was awesome. It was. Good. I really I liked it. I will say that I am not used to that kind of shows. Uh, they have a name, isn't it? Like they, that kind of dinner kinda show? show. No. Vaudeville. Like vaudeville. Yeah, I guess it's um, kind of vaudevillian. Yes. And I think it was pretty cool. The humor was uh, very good. I would say for my foreigners, it's like we have more of a hard time sometimes getting the jokes, but it was still good. And the entertainment, the dancing, and all the stuff is good. The food, as we obviously don't eat meat, so we were like, what well, you eat to a place that has all barbecue? And our food was very good. Yeah, it, it, it was awesome. And they actually prepared some plant based uh, all this, sausage for us. Yeah, all the sides plus plant based sausage plus uh, pulp pulled pork that is jackfruit barbecue right. and we had like all the all the sides were amazing everything was so good and the famous strawberry shortcake too it oh the strawberry good. shortcake was awesome but it, yeah definitely if you're a carnivore all you can eat it's it's really a great deal now yes. there's a few different prices so you guys can google that i think ours was for the seats we were in was like 55 or we 60 were in bucks the mid uh, range yeah. mid range and it's all you can drink it's all the sodas you can drink and i think it was was it beer and wine yeah, it was beer, wine, or sangria, and soft drinks. And of then course. soft drinks, yeah. So it's really a pretty, pretty good deal, uh, especially at Disney, yes. and just, just a lot of fun. And we, we had a great time that day, just going out and exploring while we were waiting for the show. So very yeah, cool. I mean, very cool show. And the thing, one thing is that they charge you the price with tax and with gratuity beforehand. When right. you book it, they charge the whole thing. That for me was very odd. I'm not used to that. I mean, they might charge you for the show and the dinner, but usually gratuity is at the time. 
and this time it was not a way they tried to run up front but now we know why it's because they they have three shows a day and they turn around so fast yeah. that once they're done and you're done eating they just it's basically get out it's get out and they don't want to be dealing with right. change and checks and checks who's tipping and, like and who's that. not and stuff so yeah exactly. that's that's pretty cool but if you're in walt disney world and you get a chance that you're there for a little while uh make sure you book it way in advance Lori had been checking and checking and checking and that she finally booked a month in advance a month and a half in advance and that was the only thing i could find like i said oh we went mid price but it's literally the only thing yeah. they had so i just booked whatever they had so make sure you book it way in advance of your trip if you know that you're going now there might be other rules that if you're staying at the resorts maybe they have open spots that they save i i don't know but i would say if you know you're going and you wanted to do hoopy do review make sure you book it well in advance yes and disney as a whole has like a 20 24 hour rule so before 24 hours they refund your money but if it's within the 24 hours they charge you a big fee so if you didn't book any of this but you're in disney it's like and you would like to do it maybe check 24 48 hours in advance and probably you will see some openings of people uh right. releasing the reservation yeah if you could do it like a last minute reservation yes. or something yeah that'd be awesome so hoop did you review thumbs up from the Sharons. It was uh, a lot of fun and I, I would definitely do it again next time we're in Orlando. But this is where we're gonna end this video. So if you're new to the channel, we hope you'll stick around and get to know us and that means they have to. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. It'd be equally as cool if you liked the video and we'll see you again soon. Bye guys. Bye.